So today I'm going to show you how to batch print PDFs from the command line. So to do this, first of all, you need to install Batch and Print Pro, which can be run from the command line. There is a link in the description of this video. Once you have that installed, click on Start menu and type in CMD for command. So you're looking for Command Exit. So once that is started up, now you need to navigate to the folder where Bash and Print Pro is installed. So you can do cd command, change the directory, double quote. I have it in my clipboard ready. I'll show you how to do it without that in a second. End quote at the end. So that's taken me to that directory. Say if I started from begin again, I could do cd cd c colon prog star 86 star traction star backslash batch star pro which will take you to that folder as well so as you can see it's done exactly the same thing to run the actual batch print i have some files here that i want to print in the c to print folder I just want to print the PDFs in this case, but you can print all as well. So you do a double quote, batch and print, exit. Then you type in C colon backslash to print, backslash star dot PDF, star is asterisk, and then put minus P minus Q. So minus P means print, and minus Q means quit at the end. So that will load all those PDF files up and it will print them out. So it's loaded up three files. If I now go on the printer, you can see it's printed those three files there. So to make it more quiet, because it obviously popped up a box, what you can do is press up arrow key to do it again and put minus s in uppercase in silent so if i just press enter on that one you can see now it's doing it silently in the background and it's printed those three files again if you wanted to do all the files in the folder they just put star dot star and i print all the files If you wanted to change the printer, you can do that also. So you can put in minus P in uppercase, and then the printer name. If you leave it blank, what will happen, it was actually prompt you for the printer name. So if I click on return on that, you see it's come up with a printer. So I can then pick whatever printer I want it on. So I'll put it on 5890, click OK, and it will then print to that printer instead. So if I click on here, I can open the 5890 and it's printed those files to there instead. So you can specify the name or use that method. There's many, many options. So if you put in quotes, Like that then it will print to this one here cancel those documents so you can see it let's now print into that rather than this one so if you just type in batch and print it will open the software in here you can go to the help file HTML help and you want to look for running from the command line click here and there's a whole raft of options in there for doing many different things and also some examples so you can change the settings within a list as well so you can print to say printer A and then change it during the list to printer B as well so there's many options in there 
give it a try.